What's up gamers? We're gonna be recreating viral builds that have happened for Tears of the Kingdom. There are so many cool and amazing designs and creations people have made and we're gonna be watching them and building them so you guys can also follow along and make this with me. So you can conquer all of Hyrule and destroy a bunch of enemies or fly around or ride around depending on what the builds are. So this first build is an automated robot that is just knocking out this silver moblin. It has moving hands and it's got beams on its face and it's just walking after it. This is crazy. So it's using a robot base it's using like a stabilizer some shock emitters it's like an electric shank <laughs> it's going after it oh that's so cool okay i think i think we can make this let's let's go ahead and try to do this so for this build we're gonna need the base of the robot so let's grab that we're gonna need a stabilizer so we're gonna grab that this one strangely had two cooking arms so we're gonna grab that one as well we're gonna grab a construct head so let's get these parts on the floor first oh boy yeah and these are gonna be used for our robot surprisingly cooking pots are a viable robot build all right so on the bottom uh this seems to be a nice typical build of a robot you want to place it right on top of it like this there we go very cool and then we're gonna get the beam of emitters so we're gonna go ahead back into our inventory because that's gonna be placed on top of the head so let's go grab some beam emitters i have a bunch over here so we just need three on this build there we go so what you want to do is you want to place the first one at the top of it like that that's the top one then you want to place place one to the left of it like that and you want to place one to the right of it just rotate that and attach it like this cool we've just created the head for this robot we're gonna pick that up and we're just gonna attach it up here now here's where things i think start to get a little bit more complicated so these cooking pots are going to act as arms apparently to this bot so we're going to do something like this yeah this this is this is interesting so i'm going to go ahead and grab this attach to the stabilizer hold on i think i did the cooking pots wrong we're going to flip it around this way this is the way we're doing it there we go because it's got to be a little more loose and now that looks more like shoulder blades oh is this the trick here make them a little loose okay i i can kind of see it but i think we attach it to the top part we don't want to attach it to the top part right there okay yep i okay i could kind of see that now you see that little gap that's gonna be like shoulder blades on it so it can swing around all right after you get this part done we're then going to go ahead and get two more construct heads just like this and always make sure that the eyeball is facing the front spot of where you want to go so i'm gonna attach that and see how that nicely attaches oh that's so clean okay and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side just like that so i think we just created arms oh my goodness yeah we just created arms and i added a uh that was an accident but now it's li it lights up in the dark you know interestingly enough looking at this you could probably add anything you want to the arms so you guys can actually modify this on the left and right but yeah i'm gonna continue following this exact one but i think i see future builds here and super big potential all right so drop out three shock emitters and i'm gonna take one shock emitter and add it to the left arm i believe so something like this just like that there we go Go. It has a functional arm, and if we hit this, yep, okay, that's moving. But that's not buzzing. Maybe it only shocks when an enemy's there. Kind of weird. Why is it not doing that? Okay, that's fine. Um, we want to grab another shock emitter, place it on this side, and then you want to attach a long weapon. So in this case, here I have a I have a gloom club. That's that's pretty long. I think that should do the trick. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna extend this out and put this in the front. So we have a fully functional electric arm. I believe that should work. Okay, I feel like we recreated this pretty well. It's moving its arm. Oh my goodness, it's like the robot's looking for something to kill. That's terrifying. Maybe that maybe that might be a little too heavy though. Hold on. Let's use a different weapon that's not as heavy. Maybe a Zora spear. There we go. That seems a little bit lighter, not as heavy on the physics. Okay, we're going to attach this maybe on top. That seems a little more viable. And then we can put this right at the tip. Let's see if that works. This doesn't look like it eats much battery. Okay. Now the question is, does it work? on enemies i got the auto build all set up look at that it's 42 zone to make this thing Woo! there's the bot i'm also so curious what you guys will do when you want to make this all right here we go let's get in action go 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 <laughs> all right it's literally taking these guys out absolutely nuking oh, oh 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 we're stuck wait shocked working just right taking out a completely oh my goodness it's just shocking and beaming it and then we got one chasing me help me okay you got me too oh, collateral damage it's okay but how are you gonna handle the silver ones over there it's getting a little dark so let's just go ahead and um, add a little light bloom on this thing. So this thing looks nice and lit up. Oh, and it's heading towards the enemies right now. And there's one with armor there. So let's just go ahead and break that armor. There we go. And let the robot do all the work. <laughs> Destruction. I'm just like literally hiding around this thing. Look how it's taking out the silver guy. Shocking. Silver can't even get a weapon off. Surrounded. It's electrocution. It took out the other one while holding off the silver. This is amazing. Yeah, this guy's done. I think we could grab a quick photo. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Wow. We're literally just watching this. This is, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of wrong right now. <laughs> I'm giving this bot a 9 out of 10 because it doesn't break and it, it just does the job. And there's so many options you guys can do to customize this even more. Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of these videos. So this is apparently a cannon-powered vehicle. And oh my gosh, look how fast it's going. And it, the cannons seem to not blow it up. Look at the speed on this thing. It seems like it's surrounded by sleds and carts and bands. And this is a very fast vehicle. I think we could, I think we could easily make this one. Wow. And it's about, oh, it's about to hit somebody. All right, let's go ahead and build this thing. So for this one, it looks like we're going to need some pieces of a sled. I think that was the bottom and the left side. So I think one, two, three sleds. Take that out there. It looks like it ran on three cannons so we get three cannons one two three drop that over there there we go it seems like we also had two fans so one two drop that okay nice and then it also seemed to have two carts one two on top of that it looks like there was a stabilizer in the middle so we're gonna drop one stabilizer and of course a steering wheel which most likely is gonna control it for those split seconds that it's flying in the air let's do this so i'm gonna take this part which is the sled i believe this is the core part of the build this is where we're gonna have the steering wheel in the front so we're gonna place our steering wheel right over here inside of this thing wow this is a little, little complicated oh that's a little too far up let's put that somewhere like maybe right here here's a steering wheel okay hop on that i put the steering wheel in the front here i don't know this part's a little complicated and for now let's just let's just keep this somewhere where it doesn't block the front part and i can still drive it there we go that looks like something we can do great all right next what we want to do is we want the back part of this thing so i'm gonna place this kind of like this where it is lifted above something like that that's the back part okay that looks pretty good but i believe the cannons are going to be angled at the back of this oh it is raining right now that is an ugly weather we're going to go ahead and grab this this is going to be the siding of the build where we hop into who's still not used to auto building on this thing yet this is this is uh okay I believe it we go in like that okay we're making the box okay looking good looking good grab the other sled i'm just going to angle it like that and we're just gonna go on the inside and kind of place it like a little more inside and we place it like that there we go i think that i think so far we got something happening we stabilize it and it looks like it pushes up perfect then we're gonna have to put a cart on the front because this thing looks like we have to climb into it so i'm just gonna go ahead flip this here to kind of seal this up just like there we go something like this i think we're getting a little closer to what we should have it look like stabilized oh it's move. it's actually moving oh my gosh i don't even have anything happening yet okay that's progress now let's go grab these fans and we're gonna place one fan here that seems a little too high compared to the yeah one fan on the left and then one fan on the right and maybe we'll move this just a little bit closer okay cool looks like we got the basics of the cart somewhat and now we need to place all three of these cannons facing at a 45 degree angle or something like that uh so it gives us our propulsion okay so hmm maybe the fans actually have to be slightly higher because it looks like this bumps into it so let's move the fans a little bit higher because that should not affect this really this is definitely not even <laughs> but i think we might be getting progress here okay got the fans here now we just have to have our triple cannons facing the floor okay i think that's our that's the angle we're looking for there's your one cannon there's the second cannon this is such a jank version <laughs> and here is your third cannon okay uh we have three cannons it looks like if i hop in and touch the steering wheel it should start launching um <laughs> let's go ahead and do a test and see if our cannon car works okay uh let's go ahead ahead and try it out <laughs> i'm so scared this is not gonna work please work oh okay okay oh it, it kind of it, it's 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 not as clean as the other one but i mean it's doing the job wow it's not breaking i am flying across this can i get it across the bridge can we make it across the bridge can we make it across the bridge oh no <laughs> get past the high knock. go 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 no <laughs> Well, uh, I think I'll give this a solid 6 out of 10 um, because I built it wrong. I'm pretty sure if you guys do it properly better than me, uh, you should be able to nail it much better. But yeah, I mean, it works. It works. This one is really interesting. This robot is basically moving on its own. It has a bunch of beam emitters. On top of the front of it has flames and electric. This thing is just full of Zonite devices. It seems to be targeting every single enemy and just nuking them completely. You know what? I think we could easily build this one. No problem. And then we're gonna try it on a monster camp too so let's build this robot the first thing we're gonna need is about 14 charge beams that, that's a lot of charge beams get 10 out right there there's 14 or there's 10 and then one two three four okay we got all our beam our charge beams out now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack them up so one nice two three four 
and five. Now, if you have your auto build, this is going to be a lot easier because all you have to do is just duplicate this again. So it'll just take up these like that. Ah, look how cool that is. And then that saved me the time right there. And then I'm just going to lift this up and drop it right on top of this. So there we go. That is the top stack. Then we're going to do three. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. And we're going to place that right there. So you have your five, five, and three. Now, this extra one looked like it was placed on the front of the stabilizer, but we'll get to that part. All right, next up on the list, we're going to need a robot. So a homing cart, we're going to need a stabilizer, and we're going to need a construct head. Cool. So it looks like this stabilizer is going to be placed right on top of the robot head, just like that. Perfect. So that way, whatever we put on top of this is going to balance. Now, we're going to take this construct head, just like this, and we are going to lift up this entire higher base and place a dead center on this just like that and you can see that up oh, it's a little wobbly and that's done on purpose so we're then going to lift this up and place this right on top of this thing here like that and that is the core fundamental of what we're going to be doing here now i'm going to grab this charge beam too because it looked like that build had an extra one on the face for some reason so let me just drop that down a little bit there okay that's functional now something else they did in the build was add some electric and fire or ice charges zonite devices at the bottom of this thing so we can deck it out a little bit more so i'm going to get two flame emitters let's grab maybe a two frost emitters and let's go for a shock emitter here i'm just gonna go ahead and drop those right there all right now for the shock emitter i'm gonna keep this dead center i think the shock emitter right in the front is going to be able to do the trick now what is this Oh, that's our flame emitter. Okay, that's gonna do some damage too. We're gonna put our flame emitter right over there next to it. And I think I just might go ahead and grab ourselves our frost emitter. That way we have at least three of the elements going to happen. Yep, that's our frost emitter. And I'm gonna place it right over there. So I guess these two are a little bit of a waste. So yeah, we're gonna ignore those two extra ones. All right, looks like the build is done. Uh, let's check it out if it's functional. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, it, <laughs> it looks like it's functional. Let's go ahead and test it out on the enemy base right in front of us. Let me just sneak this into the enemy camp maybe they won't notice something like that okay this is going to be very exciting get my bow all right let's activate <laughs> oh it's doing the job let's go get an aerial view of what's happening over here what it's just beaming all of them there's a white bokoblin there a silver one uh oh our bot stuck is it gonna be able to take out the silver bokoblin what's left oh there's oh we have a oh no it broke out the rock <laughs> <laughs> it almost did it. Wait, 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 wait. It's not done yet. The broken part, the broken part. Okay, mission accomplished. We had a little break there, but you know what? Make sure this doesn't bump into any rocks. I'm gonna give this build a solid eight out of 10 because, because it broke, but it's awesome and it nuked the enemies. Okay, this build is basically going to be something where you're baiting the enemies towards you and he's gonna activate this thing. Oh, he's wearing, okay, it's wearing a mask. So the enemies don't even know they're there and activate that machine and it's gonna spin like a top. What? And it has a, okay, so it's basically, a bunch of weapons attached to it. Oh, this should be, this should definitely be easy. And I know the exact spot where I'm going to be able to help you show you guys how to build this one. This build doesn't really use all Zonite parts. So you're going to have to come over to this shrine over here. On the Swirly Island, this is the Jimimimic Shrine. I totally said that wrong. Jimimimic. Okay, go inside that shrine. When you are inside this shrine, you're going to grab two parts. You're going to grab this thing over here. So take that. And you're going to grab this thing over here. This fan. Look at that. Those are the parts we actually need for this thing. And what you're going to do is just go ahead and attach that fan on top of this. And congratulations, that is now going to be in your auto build. You can safely walk out of here. Okay, so now that you have that auto build done, pretty much you're going to see it in your history and it's going to only cost you about six zonites. So here we go, build. And that's it. That's that's one of the big pieces for this build. So for this one, we're also going to need ourselves a homing cart. So this, this is always like the standard thing we need. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, pick this up, flip that up and place it on top of the homing cart. Simple. Just just like that. Maybe maybe a little more, maybe a little more centered. Perfect. That's that's amazing. And since this is an electricity powered turbine kind of device or spinning device, listen, physics people, don't get mad at me. I'm going to go ahead and grab ourselves a shock emitter. This shock emitter is going to be what's going to really power this thing up. So it's going to need enemies close by basically in order to activate. That spin is going to cause it to happen. So if I was to activate this, there you go. It has to spot the enemy. Now, because this fan spins really fast, we're going to want to attach some weapons to this thing. So something real quick and cheesy that I can make 
is oh we could we could we could drop some of these weapons drop there we go yeah we'll drop some of these weapons here why not and i'll fuse a silver lionel blade to something here there you go we'll fuse a silver lionel horn to let's may maybe the feathered edge okay i'm gonna drop this one as well and i'm just gonna go ahead and place these at an angle where the fans can do some good damage so let's see something like that or no little 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 more angled little more angled yeah something like that oh that's dangerous there we go something like this this might actually kill me there we go that looks like it'll do some good work place another one here like this Ooh. Okay, and then we'll place this one a little more angled down because it's a shorter sword. Something like that. Yeah, this thing should do the job. <laughs> this is so many silver lino blades. So we're doing 55 or above on every single spin. So this definitely is going to be correctly working. Uh, just to do a quick test, make sure we're functional. Oh, mama. That is going to do some work. Yeah, you do not want to die to that thing. Now let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to bait a bunch of these horblins over to me. Let them all see me. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone? Oh, yeah, they saw me oh yeah they saw me we're gonna bait them out the whole squad beautiful let them come and then we're just gonna go ahead and activate this and see what it does to these guys Whoa! okay okay doing the job doing the job it is it is definitely doing the work okay let's see if i can get on top of this fan actually since it is blowing air i don't know if i can get on top of that nope 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 it's just gonna keep taking these guys out okay gonna chop trees <gasps> okay so if it hits trees it's nope it's still got all four. Oh my gosh it is definitely doing the job so maybe you want to try to get on top of this to like float in the air while all the enemies come yeah, a whole entire squad of enemies is getting wiped. Is this going to hurt me if I touch it? Oh, that did damage to me. All right, well, uh, the enemies are dead. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and check out this one over here.